just became interested in public domain plant breeding after uh, interviewing a guy named Dr. Alan Mushroom Capular. Mushroom has a farm out in Corvallis, and uh, I drove up there one day over the summer. Mushroom showed me around the, the grounds, and uh, the greenhouse had to let me look through it, and uh, just kind of said, go around and photograph what you want, and come back and do the interview. So I stuck my head in the greenhouse, and the climate changed in a split second. The smells were different. It was way more humid. It hit you like a ton of bricks the minute you walked through the entrance. So I sat down with uh, with Mushroom, uh, not really sure what to expect, but within five minutes, I, my jaw was wide open. I'd be working breeding tomatoes for specific amino acid nutritional characteristics in the public domain to be able to improve the health, so whether you need methionine or alanine or serine or threonine or tyrosine or tryptophan or all the amino acids that make proteins. And we did take some of those tomatoes and squeeze the juices and got collaboration with the head of the lab in Washington State University where we figured out the free amino acids and the tomatoes and then we figured it out for another uh, 500 analyses for the nutritional content, my biochemistry coming in useful to say this is public domain, we should feed everybody amino acids and not just protein. also spoke about keeping that information public so that people could start their own farms in their backyards and be able to food, save money, and provide for themselves. The connection to the First Amendment is really what got me into it. Um, I, I kind of saw a link between what he was trying to do and Public Records Act requests and then kind of investigative reporting. It piqued my interest and I wanted to learn more about it. There's even a community garden in Eugene, which uh, they give you the tools, they have the tools and the fertilizer there, and people can come by, plant their own seeds, and they're responsible, you know, people come and grow, and then they uh, they harvest, and, and they have a yield, and, and they split the food up, and it provides for seven or eight people. Um, it's a community thing, it's open to the public, and it, it helps feed people. In journalism, you know, you have the ability to go from story to story, from person to person, from idea to idea, from passion to passion, and... Uh, you can learn a lot about a lot of different things in the world. So uh, it's fun to, to have a focus for a couple months at a time and, uh, and learn about the way people live.